Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Goobies. Let's go ahead and hop right in. So uh, we got an artifact which allows me to control my shooting, but I do like the auto fire to target the closest enemy. So we'll go ahead and just use the basic Wiggle, wiggle Wool Google for now. It's since it's the only thing I have. So let's go ahead and go ahead and kill some things. The early waves are fairly simple. It takes a while to build up, but super satisfying since you can actually get some kills in try to build up your wiggle woggle <laughs> or your gooby rather okay so we got our first upgrade uh, all projectiles deal one more damage I don't, I'm not too worried about damage right now uh, do more damage the faster you move attacks have 20 percent chance of splinter uh, that seems pretty good we'll go ahead and build that I'm still early in this game so I'm not exactly sure how to build the, the strongest uh, gooby so maybe the more you play the game and start unlocking the passive upgrades, like the roguelite upgrades, it'll start feeling better. But I feel like I'm going to hit a brick wall on stage two at around the 10 minute mark. But we shall see. I might get lucky. I'm not sure how to unlock more goobies. Okay, your text has a 5% chance to conjure a meteoroid. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So the splinter seems to be doing all right, not the greatest. We're one-shotting everything right now, so maybe some upgraded splinters will be a little bit more effective. Okay. They're pushing me a little bit towards the water. All that free XP right there. I can't really grab since they're coming from every direction, got hit accidentally. Luckily they only do 0.2 damage, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, enemies have a 10 chance to uh, explode dealing six AOE damage. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Or increase your damage by 15%. Let's do the explosion right now and we'll grab the damage uh, modification later. I feel like we're doing enough damage as it is right now. I like the animation in this game. It's fairly smooth. And it's pleasant to look at. See, that's the explosion that I like. <laughs> Okay, increase the radius by all AoE items by 10%. And this should net us a level right here if I can grab all that. Okay, so we got an octopus uh, enemy coming out right now. Which will suck us in. And he has 400 HP, which is quite a bit. And it looks like our meteor only does 10 damage. Okay. So he seems to be moving at a decent speed. But looks like we're nailing him down pretty easily. Although it is taking a while. Ooh, okay, we took some force hit because he sucked in the sin. So we gotta keep our distance. Okay, looks like he's gonna be unavoidable. Uh, we're not gonna be able to hit him for a while because the other goobies are kind of squirreling in. Okay, increase the radius by. Okay, let's do 30% then. I'm not too worried about attack range right now, since everything gets super close. I never get too worried about attack range unless I'm doing like melee and games like this in uh, in bullet hells. Yeah, and uh, okay, so we almost have him down. Okay, so the enemies are starting to get a little bit beefier. I really want to take out that enemy though. The explosion damage size is pretty nice right now. He only has 76 HP, and uh, I'm getting hit. I'm not doing too hot this time. The iframes don't seem to be very long in this game. Okay, there's a clump of XP right there that we can kind of grab. Ooh, and Goobies are coming out in hordes now. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and try to get a few more hits in. So the splinters are doing some damage. And um, increase your damage by 15%. We'll finally grab this. It could be up to 30% right now, but I wanted to have the uh, explosion increase. If I get an explosion on him, I should do pretty good damage. Let's get close. Okay, we killed him. And we get 20% attack speed. So a lot of this seems like kind of RNG also. I'm taking quite a bit of damage because I'm getting ultra aggressive. Okay, so we got the boss out now, wherever he is. 
There he is. Okay. So the bosses do change. So I just got really random RNG where I had the same boss twice uh, in a row. Okay. This guy should take a bit to take out because the horde of uh, goobies are kind of surrounding them right now. Okay, so... Um, let's do the AOE damage this time. Increase it by a few percent. Okay. Very nice. This attacks seem to be a little bit easier to dodge than the other bosses. Since the other boss shoots kind of a beam, this one just drops projectiles on your head. That's pretty easy to avoid. Your initial attack will fork into two weaker projectiles dealing one damage. Seems pretty weak. Release a small sonic howl. Oh, uh, let's grab the disc blades. I like any uh, thing that's kind of AoE. So this guy might take a, a little while to, to beat down though. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and dodge those. And... Luckily, the enemies spawn kind of less while the boss is out. So you do have an opportunity to kind of pick at them every once in a while. Okay, so pop these guys. Let's go ahead out here. I could use a little bit more explosion damage. Enemies have a 15% chance, chance to explode. Okay, uh, let's do fire pull this time. Might take out some enemies. I've never grabbed the fire pull before, but I didn't really like the other options. Okay, it seems to be doing do all right. Ooh. He exploded and hit me. Kind of wait till that disappears. Looks like the fire damage is kind of affecting the boss too. But it's, well, it's doing zero damage to him. Okay. Doesn't look like we hit the... Oh, okay. The, it was the target indicator. That I uh, was making the zero. <laughs> okay. So, so far so good. We got him down to about half HP. Explosions are really nice. Although I kind of want the fire to drop right on him. Okay, so we finally got a pretty good uh, roll here. Upon finishing the combo streak of an explosion of, of energy erupts from within dealing damage equal to the combo streak. I don't know what a combo streak is, but I'm going to grab that. Uh, I guess that's a combo streak. I guess it's uh, how many times you hit an enemy. Okay, that's pretty neat. So, all my explosion damage are kind of chaining off each other. Okay, so he's in the next phase. So his projectile is a little harder to avoid. That's pretty interesting they have multiple phases. Pretty low HP right now. Not sure if I'll be able to do this. Let's go ahead and back away a little bit. Get our bearings. Okay. Much better right now. Yeah, I think I'll feel better about my character once I get a little bit more upgrades. I don't feel like I'm really making any meaningful progress. Uh, attacks, fire one additional projectile, but your attacks deal 20% less damage. Um, increase the radius of all your AoE items by 45%. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab this. It, it seems to be kind of a rare item. So... Typically, rare items are pretty good, and um, they, they don't sound as great on paper, but in practice, they uh, actually perform quite well. In games like this, don't really trick you if it's a rare item. It's going to be better than a more common item. Okay. Let's go ahead and dodge these. Still pretty easy to dodge right now. Although the enemies are getting fairly close, but we are getting little gaps to kind of escape our problems like that right there. Even though the uh, projectiles persist, so we're not utterly trapped. Okay, that should do it. Okay, uh, your initial attacks uh, has a 25% chance to chain up to one enemy, dealing five damage. Okay, we'll grab that. We haven't grabbed that before. Okay, uh, we have two times 
15% crit damage. So is that 30% crit damage? Not sure. Okay, so that's the level exit, but go ahead and kill all these enemies right here just to grab some spare XP. We might be able to get a level out of this. It's really nice that the level doesn't really force you to kind of go into the next level just yet. Uh, okay. Gain 0.5 extra damage per HP lost. Okay, so we should be doing hefty amount of damage now with that upgrade. Since we're so low HP. Okay, let's go inside the uh, nebula. And prepare for the next stage. This uh, stage is where I die the most so far. My Gooby's not really strong enough to kind of survive, and I'm not really skilled enough, but we shall see. They come out in massive hordes, even if we have tons of AoE damage. Okay, Should not get ourselves surrounded. We can only take so many hits. So those chain explosions off each other is kind of the name of the game. Of uh, watching some like videos and stuff on it. Uh, example videos, not other Let's Players or reviews or anything like that. Plus, that's the only true way to take out a, a horde of enemies, is to really chain explode them. Uh, we're trapped over here. Okay, that was a nice chain explosion. I'm gonna grab that XP, so I'm gonna take a wide berth. Let's go ahead and grab this right here. Uh, we are gonna do... Um, the fire exploding pool again, to do even a little bit more damage. AE damage. Ooh, that's very nice. Hugging trees. Uh, attacks have a 10% chance to spawn a meteor. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Since meteors are extremely powerful. I didn't forget about that clump of XP on the bottom, so that's what we're doing right now, is kind of uh, circling around to try to grab it. Ooh, that's a nice clump of XP too. Oh, they're spawning pretty. We're about to be surrounded. Ooh, we got lucky right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Okay, enemies have 2% chance to convert into ghosts upon death for 5 seconds dealing low damage to all nearby enemies. So let's grab even more AE. This should get us a level right here. Okay, uh, increase your attack range by uh, regenerate. Yeah, let's take a uh, regeneration. And... Um, take less damage. Some damage reduction. I'm about to get surrounded right here. So I have a little bit more buffer to get hit. So we are level 17 right now. Which is pretty good. Okay, I'm about to get surrounded again. So let's see if I can mark a little path out here. Getting hit slowly at a time. Okay. Tons of XP. Okay, here we go. Uh, I gotta read this. Dealing damage to enemies above 95% HP has 20% chance to deal 25% chance to damage again. Attacks have 1% chance to make you enter a frenzy during this period. Your initial attack will pierce one enemy, dealing 25% less damage. Um, we rely on AE damage, so let's go ahead and do frenzy. I never grabbed this before. I'm just trying to find the right combinations to work with. Ooh, that hit us. Must have been some AE damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and circle around. Oh, they're shooting enemies at us. We only got 0.9 HP left, which is not good. And we're surrounded. Okay. Uh, let us grab this... Um, what is better? The orange or the purple? Uh, let's try the chains again. Luckily, we can kind of out hit our problems. We can kind of, we have enough damage to kind of clear going forward. Okay, let's grab the thick hide again. Uh, I'm not sure what I grabbed and I got hit. I'm not sure by what though. Kind of surrounded right now. So it looks like we're kind of in a frenzy. Increase your damage. Don't mind if I do. And attacks and fire an additional projectiles. So we got three projectiles again. We gotta watch out for the AE damage that's coming at us. I, I'm i not really seeing it. Not really a clear indicator out there. 
Let's go take a white berth. Okay, so it sounds like we have a boss. No, no boss. I don't know what the foghorn is. There should be a crap ton of XP down here if it didn't disappear. Looks like it disappeared. Let's take a kind of a white berth. Try not to get hit. So our HP is slow. Our HP region is slow, but it's increasing slowly. But surely. Oh! Those enemies, when I pop them, they explode in AE damage. So I gotta be careful of that. Okay, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and quit and let's check out our upgrades. Looks like I got 123. Uh, I can increase my HP, move speed, value of XP increased, increase the uh, attack range, increase the blast radius of all AoE items. And these are starting to get a little bit more expensive. I think I want to increase my HP, so we're going to go ahead and refund all. And we're going to increase our HP by one. Hopefully that makes us survive a little bit longer. Okay, guys, if you like this episode, please give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.